Hello, and welcome back to Platicas. I'm Amparo, and alongside my business partner, Aida, we're back. This is a space where we talk about growth, resilience, entrepreneurship, social justice, and everything in between. But most of all, it's about community, because if there's one thing we've learned in our personal and professional journeys, it's that the community holds the power to create lasting change. Hi, everyone. I'm Aida, and together, Amparo and I are two Latina attorneys who took a leap in 2017 to start our own business. It's been an incredible, challenging, and rewarding experience, and along the way, we've learned that success isn't just about working hard or following the rules. It's about building each other up and finding strength in the people around us. Right. So these conversations are for anyone who believes, like we do, that the real power comes from lifting each other up. We'll be diving into all kinds of topics over the course of this series, personal growth, professional development, advocacy, self-care, leadership, entrepreneurship, social justice, and more. But they all come back to one central theme, that we each hold power and we have the ability to make transformative changes to make the world better. Our communities, our networks, and the connections we make are what give us the strength to find joy in the journey and to hope for a better future. So before we dive into the specifics of what we'll cover, let's talk a little bit about who we are and why we're here today. So Aida, let's start with you. Why did we decide to start the series again? Yes, Amparo. So for me, I think it's about representation and voice. As Latina attorneys, we're part of a very small community. According to the American Bar Association, uh, only 5% of all lawyers in the United States are Latinos. Of that tiny slice, we represent 5% um, of women Latina lawyers of that small slice. So that's why Amparo and I feel a big responsibility to our community to increase access to justice. And so when we started our business back in 2017, we noticed a gap, not just in the legal profession, but also in resources, opportunities, and so many people who look like our family members feeling so left out. We didn't see enough people who looked like us or shared our experiences talking about the things that matter most to us, which is social justice, entrepreneurship, and the fact that we stand alongside community while being profitable, a lot, uh, practicing law and building community. Yes, and we knew we weren't the only ones who felt that. So starting our business was a huge risk. But it was driven by the idea that we could create something that didn't just benefit us, but could give back to the communities we care about. Our firm is headquartered in the Central Valley, which is the heart of California, a place that is often overlooked and where people make wildly inaccurate assumptions about the people. As someone who started their career as a community lawyer in this region, I have such deep love and appreciation for the people in this region and for the rural communities that continuously inspire me to do more to make sure that the next generation has a fair shot. So this series of Platicas is a continuation of that mission. We want to share our optimism and concerns with you, our listeners, while also sharing the lessons that we've learned along the way and bring to you episodes and conversations that will inspire and uplift. Yes, and to do that, we'll be covering a lot of different topics. We'll talk about the challenges that Amparo and I have faced as Latina women in traditionally male-dominated spaces, but we'll also celebrate the victories. Amparo and I have been in business almost, uh, what, eight years? And we've had a lot of experiences now as business women and as lawyers. And so we're excited to share that with you. Um, we also want to talk to you about how to navigate imposter syndrome, which a lot of us that are first generation really suffer from. I'm, pers I'm speaking for myself. <laughs> and also how to build a personal brand. A lot of people ask us, you know, how is it that you all formed a business? Like, how did you have the guts to do this? Right, Amparo? And we were like, we just 
we just went for it, even though we didn't know what to do. And what's really supported our business is that we are authentic to who we tru truly are. That's right, Aiva. And um, in our business journey, we've had to have some really hard conversations with people on the outside. And we've had to really push back on a lot of different things, right? But we do that even when it's uncomfortable for us because we're trying to make sure that that next generation, it's easier for them, right? So we take it as just a critical part of our journey in that we know our worth. We know that there are, you know, very few Latina attorneys out there, very few people who have had the experience that we've had at a federal, state, local level and so forth. And so we want to make sure that that next generation has that ability to really have that door wide open. And for those folks that challenge us and so forth, um, they, that it makes it easier for, for the upcoming generation. So we're going to talk about these conversations about social justice, advocacy, the legal system, and how we can all use our voices individually and collectively to fight for justice and change. We're also going to talk about personal growth and self-care because let's be real, you can't pour from an empty cup. So let's break down some of the key themes we'll be covering in this series, and you're going to hear a little bit of everything, but it's all connected. So here's a preview of what to expect. Yes, um, para so go going off the conversation about starting a business, being the first in your family, be going to college and then law school. One of the things that we really uh, thought was important to cover is the topic of personal growth. And I'll be leading some of the conversations talking to you about Sembrando Semillas, which is a passion project of ours that we started and it's a transformative, transformative training and community space dedicated to nurturing leadership potential within women of color and BIPOC leaders. Um, the topics that I'll dive into aren't just about leveling up your career. It's about really understanding who you are, what you value, and how you can grow as a person. And I think that I didn't realize how important these topics are um, to discuss and to work on while also fighting for our communities, working in social justice, uh, working in civil rights work. I think it's even more critical that we find these tools, use these tools and have the conversation about it. Um, we'll talk about things like finding your inner strength, learning from failure and turning those lessons into success. And of course, we'll sprinkle in the importance of self-care. Yes. And so I love that, Aida, because we're all so nerds. And as you know, from my law school days, two of my favorite classes were contracts and estate planning. Like I <laughs> loved it, right? And so we're going to be leading um, conversations around entrepreneurship and also estate planning. For Aida and I, these two topics are core to social justice. Like for entrepreneurship, we're going to be diving into emprendedora, where I talk to people about business formation, the opportunities and challenges, and building financial security for our families and communities while staying true to our values, right? It's from a lens where we think about entrepreneurship as a way of us like, fighting against gentrification, fighting against like all of these toxic industries that are coming into our neighborhoods and instead of creating the communities that we wanna see, right? That we know that we deserve and that we know impact our health outcomes at the end of the day, right? And we know the stats, right? That women of color are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the US, but that we're still facing so many barriers when it comes to access, funding, and opportunities. And with the state planning, Aida, that's something that's just been poor because we know that it provides a level of security for families and that so many um, low income as well as minorities, as well as just first generation folks are completely left out of that system. And let's make sure that we're making these decisions ahead of time before something happens where you as a child aren't having to make a decision about what to do with your parents. And instead they're having the voice to be able to say like, hey, this is what I would want if I have cancer, right? Or this mm -hmm. is what I would wanna have in dignity, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, and so all of that is just important, but we'll be sharing these experiences and what we've learned from starting our business and how you can also build something that reflects your values. Yes, and of course, we're gonna share um, some episodes on professional growth and whether that is building your own ladder and bringing others alongside you in your career development or breaking into leadership roles or networking, right? Nobody likes the word networking. <laughs> but the way that Amparo and I believe in it is in an authentic way that is true to your values, that is mentoring others while also allowing yourself to be mentored by other people and acknowledging that you have still room to grow and learn. So we're going to share our stories too and our experiences in professional growth. Yes. And so in case you haven't already gotten that gist, um, a big theme that we're just talking about all the time is social justice and advocacy. So we're attorneys at heart. So you know, we're going to dig into the legal system, uh, how it affects our communities. We could talk all day about the civil rights, about the three branches of government, about like the um, uh, legal precedents and all of these things. And we'll be trying to explain it to you the same way that we explain it to our family members who have these questions. We'll talk about what it means to advocate for yourself and others, how to demystify the law school process, because we need, need, need a next generation in the legal system who is taking this fight in the courts and how to use your fight to create real change, whether that's in the courtroom or in your everyday life. Yes, and finally, we're also going to talk about the power of community. Everything that Amparo and I do, everything that we have done throughout our careers is at the center of community and it is because of the community. And so we strongly believe in bringing people together who share the same values and want to grow, not just for themselves, but for everyone around them. Right, and as Aida said, Community is just central to everything that we do. For us, community isn't just networking or finding people who can help you along the way. Community just isn't transactional, right? That's not it. For us, it's about creating a space where everyone feels supported, empowered, and seen. Yes, and as women of color, uh, especially Latina women in fields like law and business, we know firsthand how isolating it can be when you don't see others who look like you in those spaces. That's why we've always been about building community from starting our own business to creating this series. So community is where real change happens. You have that power, whether it's a group of entrepreneurs sharing resources, a legal advocacy group fighting for justice, or a network of women supporting each other's growth, it all comes back to the idea that we're stronger together than we are alone. And that's what we hope Platicas becomes, a place where we can share our stories, our knowledge and our insights, but also a place where you, our listeners and our community feel like you're part of something bigger. So we want you to feel like you're not listening to a theory, but that you're part of the story because you talk. So whether you're tuning in for personal growth tips, looking for business advice, or just want to hear some real talk about the challenges we all face, we're here for you. So as we kick off this journey together, here's what we want to leave you with. You are not alone. Whatever you're going through, whether it's starting a business, shattering glass ceilings, dealing with imposter syndrome, or fighting for justice, there is a community out there, and we're part of it. That's right. This is a series. This series is a space where we're going to have real conversations, share practical advice, and lift each other up. And we're going to try to share experiences and expertise that will be helpful to you. So if you're ready to grow, to challenge yourself and be part of a community that stands alongside you so you can reach your full potential, then you're in the right place. Yes, that is exactly right, Aida. And we're just excited to have all of you with us. And we can't wait to hear from you. So you have any topics you want us to cover, any questions you want answered or stories you'd like to share, just reach out to us. You can find us on social media at Sera Macedo 
or you can send us an email at hello at sidmesedlook.com. This is a community and we want you to be an active part of it. So thank you so much for tuning in to our first episode. We've got a lot of amazing content and ideas coming your way. Be sure to subscribe, follow us, leave us a review and share this series with your friends and community. Let's build something powerful. So until next time, remember that when we grow together, we rise together. So this is Platicas and let's keep this journey going. Take care, everyone.